different than the usual photo book critique because I'll actually be critiquing an older photo book. It's not the new photo books that have been coming out recently. It is actually a fairly bit older and we have Minagishi's Watashi wa Watashi. So this is actually thanks to the Patreon user Jeremy who has actually went to that perk and has requested this photo book to be critiqued. So thank you Jeremy for actually going to that perk and requesting this photo book. If you want to request your own photo book, it's a different person every month so you can go ahead and go to that tier and request your own photo book to be critiqued. As well as other tiers, you could go to like the very basic one and be able to get benefits like behind the scenes or bloopers that I make. Now talking about the photo book in general, this is a fairly interesting photo book because this is actually like a half book half photo book. There's a lot of interview sections inside of it alongside with pictures and also just like a little block of it just being interview and sort of a lot of writing which I can't even read so. <laughs> but there are in fact some really good pictures in here and even though this is like the smallest photo book I've ever gotten it's actually fairly interesting to see. Now this front cover isn't the absolute best but this actual section that this photo comes from is actually a really nice section so I can see why they decided to go with this. And looking at the back, it's actually fairly interesting because there are actual people eating in the background in this photo and it's her in this environment which is usually different from other photo books that we don't usually see with people clearly in the background. So I think it's a nice turn of events for having this like in the actual environment than having it a little bit more set up. And the inside cover is actually just pink with the title and nothing in the background. So opening up to this first picture, we get to see her sitting down with what seems to be like a gopher or something. I think it's a beaver or something. Again, if this photo book was bigger, I'd be able to tell more of the details. So having it this small makes everything look super sharp, but it does leave some details that are in the photo that the photographer maybe put in there, not being so noticed so much. But this photo I actually like, thanks to this tree being over here, not distracting to the side, but still adding to the environment along with what she's wearing. This yellow really goes well with the environment that she's in. So this being the actual first image is actually really strong. I do feel like this is kind of like a book cover-esque picture of sorts. And having this first really gives an impression of what the photo book is going to be. In fact, I would have liked this one a little bit more to be the cover, even though it isn't presenting her fully. This kind of does give, again, the book cover feel. Then move on to the table of contents, which this is half book, should have. And we get to see her over here with the next one and talking about photo album one so it does seem like there are different photo albums and looking at this over here there is a second one on page 129 so i'll have to keep those separate uh this photo right here as i've talked about before legs going towards the camera is usually not the best but in this case it isn't going directly directly towards the camera instead of going like this it goes a little bit down so you get to see a little bit more of the detail on top so this is keeping it in mind a little bit so i do appreciate that fact and this photo right here being smack dab in the center right here is actually fairly good. I don't know how I feel about this line going through her neck. It kind of makes her head separate from her body. This photo right here, I kind of wish the legs were on the side. I mean, clearly we see what's going on in this image. And if you don't, that's thanks to the small size. But this leg being just very flat in the front makes it look a little bit bigger. And we do get to see that it's over here around the same size, but I feel like it being in the front, it should be a little slimmer. Maybe having both to the side would have helped give a little bit more of that curve. We get to see this image right here, and you guys know my complaints about these kind of images. The split is really important where it happens, but thanks to her arm being over here, I feel like you, there's not a lot of movement, a lot of room to actually move the photo. So maybe this is like, okay, this is the best we could do to actually have this full image in here. I mean, it's a nice image with the backlight and everything. Maybe having the exposure up a little bit more, making her not so dark would have been a little bit more helpful. But maybe having the image move like a little bit more over here would have had the split right at the stomach line, right where it's supposed to curve inside. And then when we came out of it, it would have been a more of a boost up. Next we have this image, which I like that the photographer knew where to place the lights. This light over here just gives a lot of defining characteristics in the body. And I mean, it shapes everything from the arms to the legs. So I think it's a really nice photo in terms of light. I'm not too sure how I feel about this door over here and about some of the other little distractions. Of course, there isn't a lot of stuff to play around with, especially in this environment. I imagine it's not that big of a room. But I feel like what the photographer did with this, actually he did to the best of his ability. So next we move on to an image I don't really like, and that's this image right here, which I feel like the eye being so close to the bend of the book actually is very distracting because if, if you were just open like this, she'd kind of look like a frog. 
but then when you open it fully, you get to see, oh, okay, she's a regular person. But being so close to the edge is really, really something you should be careful with because, again, being so close, it makes the face and the eye look a little bit distorted. And here's another photo of things pointing to the camera. This one is a little bit more distracting since it's both legs. I feel like maybe if it was one like previously, it'd be a little bit more helpful. But I feel like with both, it kind of is a little bit distracting. And something I do like is the wide angle use in this, making her legs look super long. And since, again, it's coming towards the camera, it does look a little bit longer. So in that form, I can see why this photo was included. And let me just say, this section right here is like pure lewd. <laughs> Um, not really a lot photography wise to say about it, but if you're a fan of Minagishi, you will certainly enjoy that section. They move on more to the yellow, and these shots I actually really like. This one right here, I like, I, I feel like I really like the in the middle picture where the person is standing in the middle and we see environments around, kind of making the person split everything in between. I seem to really like that. It might be like symmetry slash asymmetry thing that's going on that I like. And plus with this yellow, she really pops out and especially in this photo right here, which I really like as well. Uh, seeing this background over here lead to that and seeing over here, there's a little corner, like it's a little edge, it's a little, it's its own little picture right here. And I do like that she's sneaking into it. Then we see a little bit more of the beaver and this photo right here, I actually like a little bit more than the front cover. You actually have to really go in close up and see what it's actually about. But I do like that she's looking off into the distance. I do like the composition a little bit better in the first image, but I feel like her expression and the way she's looking in this one is a little bit stronger. These over right here are very fashionable. This one is very much like a fashion pose as using the environment to your advantage. And this one right here is very moody in the sense that the camera's a little bit crooked and the way she's putting her hands to her head says a lot. And showing a lot of the environment kind of makes her look small and especially with the expression she's making, making her look even smaller. So this does say a lot in the mood and says what I think loneliness in this picture. These right here being a little bit more personality images, which again, photo books do need those personality images. This one right here is showing up that she likes the attention. And these two over here kind of making it like more of like, hey, I'm, I'm smiles too with this one and I like to goof around a little bit. These two images right here are really nice. I feel like these are straight out of a music video. This one right here with the hair tying and this one right here with the wide of her walking down with the green along with the white. It's kind of showing the opposite of what's going around here. So we see the white sky with the green grass, but then in the opposite, we see a green jacket and the white dress that she's wearing. So I think it's a really nice twist of the colors, kind of inversing them. And this really shows attention to detail in the photographer's eye. And I do really like what's going on in this image and this image sort of as an introduction to that. I feel like these three images right here could have actually been their own pages. These two could have been maybe like a one page thing and a one page thing. And this one right here being a full page spread because this is actually really strong. This is a lot artistically. This is like her in the grass along with the white background and with her jacket being green kind of blending into the grass but then the white sticking out kind of like the white over here sticks out so i think this would have been a really strong image to have as a double page spread meanwhile we have these images which aren't the strongest i feel like these two tell a story maybe having these two bigger right here would have been a better decision than having all of these photos and even though this one's wide it's not my favorite um, there's not a lot of attention to where the details are. Again, there is that green and white thing again, but I feel like it isn't as strong as we saw in the grassy field. This right here, using the double page spread as its advantage to make one big image. This is like a regular photo book image, and I get to see all the details that's going on around here, including that the fact that the shutter speed was pretty slow, that's why the head is in motion. If that hand wasn't in motion, this image would have been stronger because I really like the shadows that are in this. I could tell that the shadows were really a big part of this image, which having everything blend into the background and having her kind of sink into the darkness, which says a lot. This one is a nice image. We're having the orange contrast with the blue and we're having her in position with the lettering right here, which is really nice. Uh, seeing as the themes of this photo book are more about book and photo book together, I do like that these words were included in this image. It kind of leaves the space open for that. Uh, these images right here are not the strongest. I feel like she just intruded inside a restaurant. They took quick pictures and left. These images right here showing a little bit more personality, 
having her over here being goofy, feeding the ducks, and looking at the flowers, showing more personality, and I do like the depth of field that this one has. I feel like something could be fixed about this image, but I'm not sure exactly what it is. Maybe having a little bit more of the S curve and less... I think it, it's a little bit that she scrunched up. I think that's what it is. Ooh, and I do like this image right here, too. <laughs> then move on to the second part, which is actually kind of like second parts in other photo books, just that it's labeled like this is the, like, the second thing, it's not connected to the first one. Because the first one's a little more environmental, while these ones are a little bit more in the hotel room. And this being the introduction to this, again, I don't really like that hard flash lighting when it comes to these kind of images, especially, I mean, next to the background it isn't so distracting as we've seen in other photo books, with it being so far away from the background, if it's a hard light, it's distracting. Having it so close is a little bit less distracting, but I, it's still not my favorite. And as you can see, these are all with the hard lighting. I mean, this one right here literally looks like she's dead. Yeah, I'm not really digging the lighting on this one. This one definitely looks like it's on camera flash or maybe like a little bit to the side, like maybe on a bracket. These images right here make it look like you found like an old roll of film and you found like a person's personal collection, if you, if you, if you know what I mean by that. Right here, now this one, I do like what they were going for in this one. This one's a little bit more fashionable. This one's a little bit more about something you see like maybe in an ad. This one right here, I feel like if the lighting was worked on a little bit more, this could have been something really, really great, especially how the hair is, the way she's posed, the mirror over here, and all the details in the background and how everything looks a little bit like a, a 90s hotel room kind of gives off that feel, and I feel like this could have been a really, really good image if only they got the lighting down a little bit more. Then move on to a little bit more soft lights, and these images are not as bad. I feel like they're a little bit repetitive, as I said before with the other one. These images right here are a little bit nicer because they're a little bit softer lights, and I feel like it gives off that soft impression that Minagishi Minami gives off. Except when she got buffed, then in that case, the, those other images would have been fine. But this image right here, I do like the pose that she has, but her facial expression, I feel like, isn't the right expression that she should be having. I feel like there's other people who have done this kind of expression where it should be, right? This expression really doesn't say too much. It kind of shows like a blank face. I do like this image right here, having the whole background and kind of it blending into whites over here, kind of as a send-off. And over here, this being the final image, I feel like I should have seen some more images of these. But there are a lot of principles in here that I do feel like other photo books should have, especially this hand being on the side showing the small part of it. But I feel like one thing that could have been fixed here is maybe with the eyes. The eyes look kind of dead. If it had the catch light that it needs, then maybe it could have been a stronger image, maybe making her look a little bit less dead, because with this background over here being so bright and her wearing dark clothes, I could see the type of mood they were going for, but with the cash light, it can make her look a little bit more alive, especially with the highlights that are going on around here. I feel like it does need the cash light. And that's the end of the photo book. Now, this wasn't a long video because, again, this is more of a half book, half photo book kind of thing, and plus it wasn't so large that I couldn't notice a lot of the details for this. So maybe having it a little bit bigger would have benefited more. I feel like it really would have benefited the photographer's images because there's some really strong images in here. And Minigishi with her posing, again, like the double-sided ones we saw, those really benefited from the size. And we got to see a little bit more about her and the detail that the photographer puts in. So who should pick up this photo book? Again, the fans of the actual member should pick it up. I mean, there's a lot of great images in here. And if you're a fan, you'll know what I mean by great images. So I feel like if you are studying Japanese, maybe pick this up since there are like excerpts from like other members, from Akimoto himself, and different things that she's written in here. I feel like maybe studying it as long as getting the side benefit of a photo book, if that appeals to you, then maybe pick this up. This might be the photo book for you. But other than those two, that's really all I could recommend it to. Again, I can't really judge on what it says inside to see if it's a good book or not, or to really know what it's about. I imagine it's about Minigishi, of course, but I don't really know what else it says about her. Like if it says her life story, how she is as a person, or if it says where she's headed in the future, how her past was. I'm not really too sure, so maybe you could pick it up for that reason if you are curious to what it's about. So again, I want to thank Jeremy for suggesting this photo book. If you have your own photo book to suggest, you can go ahead and go on Patreon and do that, as well as see all the other benefits that are there. You can go ahead and subscribe to keep up to date with the videos, and you can go ahead and like the video and leave your comments of what you thought of the photo book and whether the size form factor really did hit a negative with this. So as I say every single video, thank you all for watching.